my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 187 in this lecture we will try to understand normal probability plot before understanding normal probability plot i request you to go through lecture number 186 that is my previous lecture lecture number 186 in this lecture i explained how to calculate standard standard residual now we will try to understand i i explained manual procedure now we will try to understand simple python code to calculate the standard residuals just see this one what it says we can plot the standardized residual plot against the independent variable x here which one is independent variable student population is independent variable so for that you have to give a command known as get underscore influence this is get underscore influence what is fit one i already discussed in my previous lecture what it says resid underscore student equal to influence what is influence this is the influence dot resid underscore studentized external this is uh, the built in uh, uh, um, code this get underscore influence is built in function i can say now how can i calculate just see now i am displaying which one i am displaying this one resid underscore student just i am displaying what is this this i already explained manual procedure in my previous lecture what is uh, resid underscore student that is nothing but array of i can say it is array of i can say array of standardized array of standardized array of standardized residuals array of standardized residuals isn't it Th these are the values now you can plot student population against i have two variables for student population student population against let me say student population against standardized residuals standardized standardized residuals means standardized residual is on y axis student population that is independent variable x on x axis now if you plot the plot how can i plot just see this one plt dot figure scatter plot df1 what it says population population and resid underscore student what is my resid underscore uh, student it's nothing but array of standardized residual this this is the this is the uh, plot uh, i can say is it this this is a plot it's a plot on x axis i am taking population on y axis i am i am taking resid underscore student means what it is uh, uh, standardized on y axis i can say i am taking standardized standardized residuals on y axis this this is the graph isn't it you will get this figure see all the data points i can say residuals all the data points uh, let me repeat yes see all the data points are in between minus 2 and plus 2 just see in between minus 2 and plus 2 so this assumption is valid what is that assumption the standardized residual plot this on y axis we are taking standardized residual plot can provide insight about the assumption that the error term that the error term e that the error term e i can say that the error term e has normal distribution if this assumption is satisfied the distribution of the standardized residuals should appear to come from standard normal probability distribution isn't it now it, thus 
when looking at standardized residual plot, we should expect to see approximately 95% of the standardized residuals between minus 2 and plus 2. That we already we, we have shown that particular output. Just see this one. Isn't it? Yes. Now I can say, I, I can say, we, we, we see in figure that for the ice cream example, all standardized residuals are between minus 2 and plus 2. Therefore, on the basis of the standardized residual, this plot gives us no reason to question the assumption that E has normal distribution. Now, we will try to understand normal probability plot. Another approach for determining the validity of the assumption that the error term has normal distribution is the normal probability plot. If you are to develop a plot with normal scores on the horizontal, x -axis, horizontal axis, that is x-axis, and the corresponding standardized residuals on the vertical axis, the plotted points should cluster closely around a 45 degree line passing through the origin if the standardized residuals are approximately normally distributed. Such a plot is referred to as normal probability plot. Just, just see this one. What am I doing here? This is normal probability plot. Normal probability plot for ice cream parallels. On y-axis, I am taking standardized residuals. On x-axis, I am taking normal scores. This is the line, 45 degrees line, and which is passing through the origin. Now, these residuals are clustered around this particular line, isn't it? Therefore, I can say this error is, uh, is uh, that assumption is uh, valid, isn't it? Uh, how can I say? Uh, let me say that error is uh, following normal uh, distribution. Uh, normality assumption is, I can say, normality assumption is validated. Just see the simple code. These are the built-in packages which we, dis we were discussing from past few classes, stats model SM. Here, just see, this is res. Fit1 dot, res means these are the residuals. SM dot, what is SM? SM, uh, it's related to stats model dot API. It's uh, uh, Elias for that particular library. Prop plot, probability plot. You RES means, RES means residuals and start, start now. What we are, we are saying, just we are plotting residuals on y-axis. Just see, this is residual on y-axis, normal score on x-axis. That's what I am doing here. Just see, normal score, stats dot norm means normal scores. This, this, this is the plot. How we are plotting this one? We are taking residuals on y-axis and uh, normal scores on x-axis fit equal true means it will plot. Prob plot dot qq plot line equal to 45 degrees means what it what will it plot just see this is the output what does it mean all the residuals are clustered around y around a line which is passing through the origin with 45 degrees angle isn't it therefore if they are clustered around this particular line if residual standardized residuals are clustered around this particular line i can say i can say normality uh, normality assumption is validated this uh, maybe this may be the uh, my last lecture on linear regression in my next lecture i will discuss about multiple regression model just go through this linear regression uh, i discussed almost all concepts related to linear regression if time permits in future i will try to spend um, some time um, on this particular concept but uh, whatever the concepts I discussed till now uh, on linear regression uh, is more than enough. Thank you very much.